Good day. I'm Tom Kelleher. I'm a historian and also curator of mechanical arts here at Old Sturbridge Village. And I want to talk for a few minutes about the year without a summer, 1816. A very odd year, um, to be sure. In that year, people didn't know what was going on. And of course, being much more tied to the earth, since most people were farming, it was especially distressing for them. The winter of 1815-1816 had been a relatively mild one. And as the days got longer, the sun got higher in the sky. As spring came along, people were doing their usual farm chores, mending fences, plowing, planting, and doing the other tasks that have to be done on a New England farm. And things were going along fine until April. And then many noted in their diaries that the season started to be going backwards. In other words, instead of getting increasingly warmer, it was getting increasingly colder. And every, every, um, every month in many parts of New England had a killing frost in every month of the year. Um, so corn planted would often be frozen to the ground come, come June. Some people were out in their fields in June and July wearing overcoats and mittens because of this crazy year without a summer. Ponds iced over in the middle of summer. People didn't know what was going on. There were all sorts of theories of what caused it. Forest fires, some people said. Some people said it was lightning rods people were putting on barns and meeting houses where it was disrupting the natural electrical field of the earth and that was causing the problem. Hardly anybody at the time realized the true reason that we know today. And that was that on the other side of the planet, the year before in 1815, a volcano had erupted in Indonesia called Mount Tambora. And that is the greatest volcanic eruption in recorded history. Mount Tambora spewed literally m cubic miles and miles of, of soot and ash into the atmosphere, causing all sorts of climate change for that year or two following. There were cold and drought here in New England. As if cold wasn't enough, drought killed a lot of crops and inconvenienced people. Wells ran dry. Anyway, that cold, miserable, drought, dr drought plagued year of 1816 caused a lot of people in New England to give up farming and move west and farm on better lands and leave more marginal uh, fields here in New England. And today, in 2021, we can still walk through the woods of New England where once it had been open fields. And we'll find their cellar holes and their stone walls. Uh, many of these families had left because of the year without a summer. <laughs>